this is blueberry and today we are playing minecraft i had originally said that i was going to do like minecraft let's plays or something and i just now kind of started doing it so yeah so today we're playing the mod my life in sakura shores and today i'm doing a furnished house tour and during this tour i'm gonna tell you where i got everything from and yeah and by the way, the cottage or the home I'm currently staying in here is the Daffodil College. Cottage. Oops. Okay. So let's go inside. I love this little thing on my door. So when you first step inside my house, you see these two bookcases and some stuffed animals and these paintings. So I'm going to tell you where I got each of these first items. So the bookcases I got from the bookstore um like in the town i don't remember the name but i'll put up a picture of it and that is where i got the, got the bookcases from um the stuffed animals i got from the afterglow arcade which is also in the town so i'll also put up a picture of what that looks like as well and these paintings i got from the up up town market i think that's what it's called and I accidentally got two of the same paintings, but it worked out because it looks cute. Um, the wallpaper is just like what you can get for free when you get a house. You don't really have to pay for it. You just use the little tool and you can paint your walls. Over here to the left, we have my little dining set. Um, this I got from the department store that is in the town, which I will... I'm going to put a picture of every place that I got this stuff from like in the video so that you guys can see i keep repeating myself sorry so yes this is called the zen dining set and you can get it at the department store the thing is about this mod it doesn't really tell you what you're buying so you kind of have to just guess by looking at how much stuff costs to see if it's like the set that you want i don't know of a way to um see what you're buying before you buy it so if anyone knows that please comment down below so that I'll know for future reference. Um, this ceiling lamp is also called a Zen ceiling lamp. So I also got that at the department store. And again, it was kind of random. So I had to buy a couple lamps before I was able to get a ceiling lamp because I didn't know um, where the ceiling lamps were in the store. So yes, this is my little dining room. And yes, over here, this is like my living room. So right here, I have a carpet that I got from the department store, a TV console. I got the TV console as like a random gift for doing the um, quests that they give you every day. Or not quests, daily tasks. They give them to you every day, like when the sun goes up. So um, yeah, that's how I got this tv console and all of this stuff comes like in a random color but you can paint your furniture using the furniture tool so yeah maybe i'll record a video of like how you play this game and everything so you guys know how to play it and where you can get it and stuff by the way i'm on minecraft pocket edition so any version of minecraft that has the marketplace you can play this and you do have to buy it but yeah so the tv i got from the department store and um it doesn't turn on or maybe it does and i just haven't figured it out yet but i have a tv i also have this zen floor lamp that i got from the department store the majority of the stuff in my house is from the department store but there are some things that i got from other places too um this couch it's um called the country um love seat i think and i got this from the department store it came in a random color but i painted it so i got the carpet from the department store as well so the next thing oh and let's talk about these paintings that i also got from the uptown market i again made the mistake of buying multiple of the same paintings so that was a mistake but again they ended up looking cute and you know as time passes, I'll probably switch them out for different ones. But for now, this works. Okay, let's go over here to the kitchen. So, 
as you can see, my sink is not the same color as my counters and my cabinets and my refrigerator because I randomly bought a sink and I didn't know like what kind of sink I was buying, like if it was rustic or pastel, I didn't know. So um, this is the only thing that's like not the same color, also the trash can, but yeah. So I have a rustic sink that I got from the department store um and i have pastel cabinets cabinets yeah wait um i don't i like my brain is not working right now but i have these kitchen things that are on the floor and they're pastel and i also have a corner of the pastel things and i know for a fact that these are cabinets I'm nervous guys because I've never made a video like this before so I'm just like stuttering and stuff but it's okay I'll get used to it and I'll get better over time so um, all of this I was able to buy the same sets of these because um, I figured out like that there's a man in the department store that only sells pastel stuff. So I was able to buy multiple of the same things. So it worked out with the colors. And I got a refrigerator and I painted it pink so that it could match the rest of the kitchen. And the trash can I got randomly and it, I just put it right here so that I can match the whole kitchen vibe. Um, This ceiling l lamp is also a zen lamp i changed it so it doesn't look the same as the one over there because i kind of wanted it to be more like modern but it's a zen ceiling lamp i think i do not remember what the ceiling lamp is so i'm so sorry about that um if you want to know comment down below and i'll try and figure it out for you and you know figure find out what it is so oh and i also forgot to mention this lamp right here i got randomly this was like the first lamp i got for the house so i randomly got this and at first um the dining set was the tv console and like a little um pillow on the floor but then i got the dining set so i moved the tv console here and put the tv on top of it and the lamp was like illuminating this whole area at first so over time I did a lot of work and um, tasks, and I was able to get enough money to buy more furniture. Um, let's talk about these plushies because I didn't really talk about them much. Um, this is the gray bunny plushie that I got from the Afterglow Arcade. I mentioned that's where I got it from earlier, but I'm mentioning it again. I don't know why. Um, this is a green cat that I also got from the Afterglow Arcade. Um, and this is a pink dog plushie. So those are my plushies. They don't have names yet, but eventually I'll give them some names. Okay, now that we've explored the first half of the house, let's walk in here. Okay, so this is like the hallway area um, that leads to the bedroom. So I painted the walls pink. They did not come like this. I had to paint it. So if you're thinking like you're gonna buy this house and it's gonna come with all of this no you're gonna have to paint it yourself but again it's free so you don't have to worry about that i got this plushie as a gift this ginormous brown bear plushie as a gift or a prize for winning the one of the games at the festival that comes up at nighttime so you can win him if you like win one of the games so Make sure you check out the festival at night in this mod because you can win a lot of great prizes. Like a goldfish lamp that I have in my bookcase that I'll probably have to make a separate video on that because this one's getting too long. But yes, that's where I got him from. Over here, I have a pink rabbit and a tan bear with, I think, icing on his head. They're both very cute. Like so adorable um and we have these two windows right here that are nice i look outside sometimes to just see what time of day it is so yeah and we have this ceiling lamp which is also a zen ceiling lamp from the department store 
um, and I changed it so it would look a little more modern as well for the hallway. And um, the bookcase, I had said where I got the bookcases from before. Um, so yeah, so last part of my house is the bedroom. So over here to the left, we have a small Zen end table and we have a small Zen table lamp. Very cute. Um, I painted my walls like this confetti looking color. Um, just randomly, I didn't really have any per particular aesthetic in mind. I was just trying to paint my house. And um, on the floor, we have a carpet with pastel colors. And we have a bed with a pink striped blanket and a pink pillow. And we also have a pink Zen wall lamp. So, yeah. And there's also this blue bunny that I also got from the Afterglow um, Arcade. Majority of the plushies in here are from the Afterglow Arcade. That's where you can get the most plushies, in my opinion. You can also get them by, like, trading with the workers at the festival. But if you don't want to, like, randomize it, I suggest just going to the Afterglow Arcade. Plus, it's much cheaper. It's, like, five silver coins um, a game. So, yeah. That is my furnished house tour, guys. Um, everything in here is so special to me. And it's crazy because, like in real life, I started out with just a bed and just, like, this TV console and a little cushion. And nothing else was in here. I didn't even have lights. I could not light up my house until I played the game for, like, months. I also have this game on my Switch. So, I would play on my Switch as well. But... Um, it was kind of laggy on my Switch, so I just decided to, um, play on my phone because, you know, it doesn't lag. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this mod, or if you would like to see any specific videos, please comment down below. And I hope everyone has a great day.